Looks pretty good. Porridge. I thought I never liked porridge. It's just like warm overnight oats though. <laughs> good view too. What do you made yourself? A little smoothie bowl. I like to call this one a treat, but I'm finding myself having it more often than not. It's a little cold for that. No, it's not though. But I got my granola, I got my, what is it, mango and berries, some banana, peanut butter. A little cheeky Nutella, don't tell anyone. It's basically a dessert. Good morning, guys. We are in the West McDonnell Ranges, which is just west of Alice Springs. We stayed in a little free camp here called Point Howard Lookout. Had the fire going last night. It's quite a nice little spot here. There's only a couple of other people here. And now we're gonna go and explore the different little walking tracks and things along the ranges. So here's a little bit of a map that shows the West McDonnell Ranges. Here's Alice Springs. And then there's just a, a road that goes along and there's a whole bunch of different hikes along the way. We're camped about here somewhere. And so today we're gonna head west and then we're gonna go check out some of the different hikes and make our way back east. We have arrived at Glen Helen Gorge. It's about 800 meters one way. So we're gonna go check that out. I think there's a really cool water hole at the end. Other thing as well is the budgies. Absolutely loving how many budgies there are around here. And they're just kind of like going past so fast, aren't they? They're like glitter in the sky. Yeah, they're like glitter in the sky when you kind of go past. It's very sunny today. It's hard to see. Which is good because it was cloudy. Yeah, it was cloudy. The man that refilled our gas bottle at Mitre 10 Shout out to Steve. No, I don't know I don't his know name. What his name was. <laughs> if you need gas, go to my 10. Cheaper. In Alice. Apparently the mm. only place to get gas. But he said epic sun sets at the McDonald Ranges when the when there's cloudless days. So yesterday it was clouded. Well, that was a nice little walk, very short. There was a few people swimming at the end and it would have been freezing cold. We're now walking back to the van to go to the next spot. What's going on over here? Yeah, make a joke about it being intense. It does look a little intense. in Gorge now and we're gonna do the ghost gum walk up to a lookout and down to the water hole. Walking back down now from the ghost gum lookout. Met a lovely Italian couple up there who were giving us all the tips or places to see in Italy. But this has been a really nice walk. We're coming down towards the riverbed now. And the sign said rock hopping and possible water wading. We started, I don't know if there's enough water in the creek, whether we will have to wade. We're about to find out, but it is stunning in here. Like, look, at, look at the cliffs up here behind us. Very nice. We don't have any immediate plans to go to Italy, by the way, but we have the tips now when we do go there. Some of the the Amalfi Coast was the number one she did say place Rome. to go. Come Rome? visit Rome. Well, I've been to Rome when I was four, briefly, and for a couple of days. They said maybe not Milan. It is just for where you go to work and to study. Sorry if you're watching this hoping for McDonald Rangers. <laughs> uh, advice and tips you're now getting italy it does actually feel like we're in another country now like maybe like we're in utah or something like that like just crazy big rock formations brooke dropped the lens cap but then forgot to pick it up and it's all way up there somewhere so she's gone for a little run to go and grab it did you find it <laughs> Not 
interested in waiting. <sighs> Do you take your shoes off? I'm going to. How was that? Not bad. A bit concerning to start with, but that was fine. Especially because I felt like I could just boulder my way across. We just spotted a little rock wallaby, so we're super stoked about that. I think he's a little bit sus on us, but we're going to see how close we can get. So that's definitely the highlight of today so far. He or she, absolutely the cutest little thing with the little fluffy mitts. And then I didn't get it on camera, but he bounded away, or she, bounded away like a lemur across the rocks. Kind of impressive. Well, I was halfway through saying, I really want to see a rock wallaby. And as I said, rock, I stopped. <laughs> and then there one was, just ha hanging out. Should we call her Roxanne? Almost in gorge. Put it on your list. Put it on your list. Approved. Yeah, that was incredible. We're walking back to the van now and pretty late now because we spent so long waiting. Waiting and <laughs> watching wallabies and chatting. Yeah. So we're gonna try and squeeze another little spot in on the way back to camp though. Hopefully they have a short three o'clock. Hopefully it's short. It's yeah. only nine minutes from camp. If it gets late, we don't have long to get back. back. But yeah, definitely put this one on your list. That was something special for sure. How fast are they going? 70. 70 k's an hour? That's a quick budgie. Uh, wow. Whoa! Come this way. They're coming this way. Okay. I thought they were. Last stop for today is Ellery Creek. We were going to do a bit of a hike, but the day's sort of gotten away. So we're just going to go and check out the waterhole here. That was a really good day. We're gonna head back to camp now and we've got one more spot to check out tomorrow morning. It is now the morning and we were going to get up super early and get out and do this hike or this short walk at Simpsons Gap, but uh, we woke up and looked out the window and this is kind of what we saw. So it's super cloudy, foggy, and we just thought, ah, we'll just have a bit of a sleep in. So we're just heading to Simpsons Gap now. I think it's a 1K little walk, short walk. But we're gonna do the bike path. It's like a 17K one-way bike track, but I think we'll just uh, do the short walk.
just finished up at Simpsons Gap and that was really cool because there were so many rock wallabies. So many. First we saw just a couple up really high and we were pretty excited and then there was just yeah a couple really close again yeah we were wondering what they eat and it looks like they eat the figs there's like fig trees there and also just the grass so seems like they've got it pretty sorted there but there was probably i don't know five five or six, six. yeah the sun came out as well which i was surprised when it was sort of overcast and misty this morning and then the sun came out it turned into quite a nice day yeah but yeah, I think that's it for us for the West McDonnell Ranges. There's obviously heaps more that you could do here, heaps more stops, um, plenty more hikes and things as well. But hopefully you enjoyed watching. We'll see you in the next one. We are in the West McDonald, not McDonald. Out of fog. Oh, whoa. Oops, someone's coming. I'm too embarrassed to film. There's my wife. <laughs> Definitely put this one on your list. That was, <coughs> sorry. <laughs>